50 years after the folk scene exploded in New York's Greenwich Village, folk music is hot again. Bands like Mumford & Sons and Fleet Foxes are in the top 100. There's a new Coen Brothers film in the works about the genre. And now, a new documentary, Legends of Folk, explores the history behind the movement and the impact it had on music and the generation that it surrounded. Joining us now to talk more about the film is one of its subjects, Peter Yarrow, best known for the folk group Peter, Paul, and Mary. Peter, good morning to you. Good to have you. Good morning to you, my brother. All right, so, so let's go back to the 60s. I'm picturing the, the, the village and a venue called The Bitter End. Yes. You, Peter, Paul, and Mary are performing there. What memories come to mind? Well, it was an era of enormous hopefulness, determination, and a commitment that was emerging, that was expressed in the music to make our nation the kind of moral nation that we hoped it would be because that was very shortly before the emergence of the civil rights movement and there was a sense that the the ideas and the legacy of the 1950s and before were to a certain degree fatuous fabrications and one of the one of the songs that's that's been really big for peter paul and mary is if i had a hammer that's it, it essentially embellished the civil rights movement did you know that your music would have such a big impact well, it had had such a big a impact before we sang it. That song was sung by Pete Seeger a long time before, and it was already an emblematic song of a commitment to a more fair, more just, and caring nation. Anybody influence your music? Give me some of your faves. Well, many, many people. Josh White, Pete Seeger, uh, Woody Guthrie, um, the, the labor union songs that really acted as a way of people coming together. You know, when the civil rights marchers, the freedom riders, were thrown into jail, the jailer said, okay, uh, that's, that's it. Look, you're being bailed out. They said, no, we're staying here. John Lewis, who's not a member of Congress, said, we're staying here. We're going to stay in jail. Why? Because we didn't come to here. To, uh, to get out of jail. We want to stop the racism and the lynching and the madness in America. So they went back to jail and they couldn't understand it. Their bones were broken, they were lacerated, and they were happy. So why are they happy? I don't know, they're singing. Maybe that's it. Oh, tell them they can't sing. You can't sing, we're singing. We'll take away your mattresses, you'll sleep on cold steel. The songs, the music, were not an embellishment, with all due respect, they were part of the essence of keeping the hearts of people together. Well, well let's talk about that scene, that folk scene here in New sure. York. We've got people in Washington Square back then lined up. Uh, uh, people are performing to anyone who will listen. It, was it like a family atmosphere out there? Were you all sharing ideas and singing songs together? It was a sense of solidarity that you could feel there at the marches, like the Civil Rights March in 63, where Peter, Paul, and Mary sang If I Had a Hammer and Blowing in the Wind, like the spirit at the Newport Folk Festival that happened thereafter, like the anti-war marches. This was a nation on the move that believed in its goodness. And this was, if you ask people from that era, they'll say, this was the soundtrack of my conscience. Well, you know what? It's going to be a fascinating uh, documentary, a DVD for many people to watch. Can't wait to see it. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. Legends of Folk, The Village Scene. It will air this month on PBS. Check your local listings for time and dates. Peter Yarrow of Peter, Paul & Mary, thank you so much for dropping by. It's always a pleasure. Appreciate it. pleasure. And uh, if you don't mind, play us out the break here. All right. Let's see what we'll do. We'll see. I still got a hammer And I still got my bell I still got my song to sing all over this land. It's still the hammer of justice, still the bell of freedom, the song about the love between my brothers and your sisters. All, all over this land. It's still alive. It's just needs to be resurrected and then maybe we can heal the heart of this aching nation. Excellent. Piriaro, thank you so much. Thank Such you. a pleasure.